Me, myself, and I podcast, part three. Let's get it. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Welcome back to part three of my Me, Myself, and I podcast. These have been doing pretty well. Um, I've been able to crank these out at pretty good speed the past two weeks. Um, This is actually my second time recording one of these today. I hit some bumps on the first one, so we're going to be recording again today. Today, we're going to be talking about... I'm just going to go ahead and uh, line out today's subject... Um, it's going to be more of a political podcast today, I'm not going to lie. We're going to be stepping into the more political realm, which I have obviously um, uh, not been uh, not been too shy to do in the past. But we're going to start by talking off t- start off by talking about the Netflix movie um, Don't Look Up, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence and Meryl Streep. Jonah Hill as well, a few other well-known characters. We're going to move into talking about some social... Uh, social uh, topics, I guess we'll call them. Um, as will be, a se- our be will be our second topic of the day. And let's see here. What, let me check my notes real quick. And then we might have a time for a third special topic. We'll we'll look, but hopefully, um, hopefully we'll just we'll, we'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens. But let's start off by talking about "Don't Look Up." Okay, the movie on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, I don't know that I would recommend you watch it. It's it's okay. It's good. Not great. It's something that if you're truly bored, go watch it. Some people will say that it's magnificent. Others will say um, others will say otherwise. Um, but what the 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 movie did was it pokes it pokes fun. I guess you could say pokes fun at the at big tech, at big media, and how much power that you know companies like CNN have. That companies. Like, even Fox have over the general public. And the movie does a pretty good job of showing how much people's own intentions can be involved with stuff. Because if you noticed, um, even, it's it's fairly world real-world applicable. Um, because in the start of the movie, you have Meryl Streep, the president... Who says, no, I will not help you guys with this asteroid. Get out of my office. Meryl Streep begins to lose pull points. And then Meryl Streep has, does a full 360 and says, hey, you know what? You guys are right. I will help you with your asteroid. And to me, that's very reminiscent of the Biden and Obama administration. The Biden and Obama administration and Joe Biden throughout his entire career ran on the campaign of... Marriage is the bond between a man and a woman. We've all voted, not where I voted and others said, look, marriage is between a man and a woman. That's just what they ran on. And then the Supreme Court during the Obama administration said, if I am correct during the Obama administration, um, said that no, it's not, we can't prove it in the Constitution. And then you see Obama, Joe Biden, every other Democrat do a full 360. You know what, guys? We were always, we were always for, you know, the LGBTQ, yada, yada, yada. And so it does definitely represent, and I don't want to, I don't want to make that seem like it's just Democrats that did this. I'm, there are definitely Republicans that have probably done this as well. It's just for me, so many people say that Joe Biden is doing so many great things for the gay community, when in reality, he didn't support you for his entirety of career, except for the past, like, 16 years. Uh, let's see, you know, 8, 12 years. More like 12 years he's supported the LGBTQ community, but before that, he was very anti-gay um, rights. Um, and so then the movie goes on to say, you know, like, uh, these, they're, these are the bad guys. These guys have facts. These guys are trying to manipulate you. And so Meryl Streep and the president, so the government basically is on the side of, hey, do not look at the sky. Don't look at this asteroid. This asteroid is no big deal. This asteroid that's going to kill the earth is no big deal. Then you have Leonardo DiCaprio, and he's like, no, guys, look at the sky. It's just, it's, I don't even need to prove it. Look at, look and see it for yourself. And so then you have the, um, the good guys and the bad guys, basically. And what they do is they make the good guys seem more democratic. They have the bad guys seem more Republican. And so even in this movie that is kind of, I guess, preaching preaching to the people about how easy it is for for the government to control you is now trying to control us by, by 
like hintfully, like you can't if you see it, you feel it, and then once you think about it, you realize what's going on. Is they have the bad guys look like Republicans, and they have the good guys look like Democrats. The good guys, all their colors are blue. Their their look up signs are all blue. The Republicans, Meryl Streep wears uh wears um she said her their campaign is don't look up, don't look up, look down, don't look at the sky. They're all red. Even one of the guys was a scene where he's wearing a big red hat, very resembling of a mega hat. They're all very pro-gun, and they make the, Re- the Republicans to seem like the bad guy. And so even in this movie that's talking about how manipulative people and the media can be is now manipulating the, the general population. So it's interesting to me that people watch this and were like, wow, you know, the media really can manipulate people. And if you talk to those same people, I bet they probably were like, oh, yeah, well, Republicans are the bad guys, you know, blah, 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 blah. And so I think it was pretty crazy to me to watch this movie and being a Republican, watch it and be like, so they're literally saying that, like, I'm basically the bad guy. Because it they're definitely bordering on the line of saying, like, this is how the real world is as well. And so in this, you know, almost like this, like, satirical movie, I don't know what kind of drama, whatever you want to call it, they're making fun of Republicans by saying Republicans are stupid. Like, the Republicans don't use fact and logic. But yet, if you look at our actual real-world Republicans are the ones that are trying to push more people to think for themselves. And so I think the movie was right. The media can manipulate people to whatever extent they want. I've seen it in my own family. I've seen it in my own friends. They get manipulated to believe whatever the media tells them. I understand they have that power. But I also understand that this movie tried to make it seem like Republicans are the stupid one and Democrats are super smart. When in reality, you have the big, huge corporations, Democrats, okay, being trying to be fought by the you know the middle class Republicans or you know even even whoever it is down here just trying to fight these upper class Democrats and they're like oh nope you can't because you're not using the science you're not using the science come on there's 72 genders come on there's no need for gender assignment at birth all right on the passport we're gonna put an X okay trust the science guys and so for me. The movie is very adult. I, as far as watching it again, no, because it it was getting increasingly more graphic, and um, I probably won't ever watch it again. But the movie has the premise of, you know, the media can push power. It's true, but they got it wrong. Republicans are the ones that are trying to get people to think for themselves, and the Democrats are the ones that have a problem with it. And here is going to be, I'm going to give two examples. Number one. Let's start with the vaccine, okay? You have um, big companies telling us everything, that the vaccine is good, that we need to get the booster shot, we need to do this, and everyone's just like, yes, 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 you're right. More vaccines, more more boosters, more more protection, more, 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 more. And then you have these big, r- very liberal companies, very liberal news companies saying, get vaccinated, it's good for you. And then you have large amounts of the Republican Party saying, do your own research, Look it up. It is that true? And people are getting, are getting. I get so much crap for doing my own research. I don't hardly ever watch the news. I see something on TikTok. I'm like, is that right? Okay. Well, this source has other things from sources I believe. I look it up. Okay. Other people say that they're right. I can find another source. Ben Shapiro said it's true. This guy says it's true. This guy says it's true. I believe it now. Okay. And so I get crap for doing that. And it's like I get slack for finding accredited sources i once got um bombarded for finding a harvard pdf okay a harvard study they didn't, they didn't i don't i don't know that if it's on the internet but uh, i found it and it was on a pdf i downloaded it and i read it from harvard there was topics talking about the dangers of wearing masks and i would try to tell some people about that and they were like nope that's wrong you're stupid and it's like i'm not stupid i have one of the most esteemed colleges in the world that says that I am correct and you're going to just tell me that I'm wrong because I didn't get it from CNN. I didn't get it from Bill Gates. I didn't get it from one of these big companies. I got it from myself and I got it from something that I went out and found. And because of that, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Okay. 
That's the number one example. Number two example, Democrats since the start of COVID, guys, trust the science. Come on, guys, just trust the science. And it's so infuriating to me because they themselves don't give a crap about science. Because if you gave a crap about science, you would believe a very fundamental thing, and that is that there are two genders. You would believe that there are male and there are female because there is not a science in the world that can definitively prove that you can be born as anything else that you can somehow in your brain identify as anything else other than male or female. Okay, because no matter what you identify as, you either reproduce as a male or you reproduce as a female. And there's no peer-reviewed study on that. There's no need for me to go look that up. That's just logic and fact. Go ahead and find one um, non-gender, binary, fluid, LG, barbecue, fried, pink-haired looking fat chick, okay, that can prove to me that at the inside of her DNA, all right, it doesn't say female, all right? No matter what you do, the science says there's only two genders, and I stand by that. Okay. Next point about this movie, and I'm going to correlate into this into my next subject, okay? In this movie, they're getting ready to destroy this asteroid. They change their mind. No, don't destroy it. Let's mine the minerals because the minerals are worth so much money. The money we get from the minerals could solve social injustice, could solve poverty, could solve homelessness, could feed the hunger, could do X, Y, Z if we had all this money, which leads me into my next topic of social change because – if you look at modern day America, everyone's talking about social change. It's like, if you guys give me your vote, I'm going to fix the problem. If you give me your vote, I'm going to do this. If you give me your vote, if you give me money, if you give me contributions, I'm going to fix social injustice, okay? So let's, let's break down some key factors here, okay? Okay, the group's co-founder went on a real estate buying binge snagging four high-end homes for $3.2 million in the U.S. alone, according to property records. Uh, also, I had property in the Bahamas, an ultra-exclusive uh, resort where Justin Timberlake and Tiger Woods both have homes. This comes from the New York Post. Okay, so the co-founder of the Black Lives Matter movement got the money. He got the money just like she said she needed and then what did she go and do? Oh my gosh, she went and bought herself a new house, a $3.2 million house. And this is what the movie kind of, I think people like, ugh, listen, listen, listen. Giving money to try and solve the social change isn't going to fix anything. What, what money do you need to solve social change? What money do you, do you really need Honestly, what money do you really need to solve world hunger, okay? Honestly, because the people that are hungry, okay, wh where do they go? They would go, they would go to, you know, a soup kitchen, a, you know, a food bank, all that. I've donated to one of those at least once or twice a year. I think every year of my life since I've been born. Just because there's food drives everywhere. You donate a canned good. If it's feeding the hungry is not like this impossible task because if you're going to find you're going to find that most people are willing and compassionate to donate a little bit of money to feed the hungry. So giving these millions of dollars to people and saying, "Well, we're going to feed the hungry with it." Why do you need so much money when I'm willing to help feed the hungry and I don't need any money for it? And so this movie was saying all this money is going to solve all these problems. No, it's not. More money, more problems okay so even the leader of this black lives matter movement used the money to buy to for her own gain she didn't use the money to help the black lives matter movement 3.2 million dollars that's an insane amount of money and she didn't even use it to help further her own her own foundation that she founded and so it leads me on to this next topic of like what social change does america need and I've asked people that. I've asked people that are very Black Lives Matter, you know, pro Black Lives Matter, what social change we need. And the only thing I've ever gotten in response was defunding the police, which is a very slippery slope. If you defund the police, 
what you have now made way for is that you have to have protection somewhere. And so where does that protection come from? It comes from the, from the government through the military. So now the government has complete and total control over what happens. Whereas now with police officers, each state can have different laws, different enforcements. Each, each one is a little different. If you get rid of all police, you now have Kamala Harris and Joe Biden sending um, the uh, National National Guard into your homes to protect you. And they have complete 100% authority over whatever they want to do. And so defunding the police is not the key to social change. Okay, so what is? Okay, well, let's look at some laws that are preventing social change from carrying on. All right, I'll start off by listing them. Uh, that's right. There aren't any laws that put any other race over another. Hmm. So we can't defund the police because that will result in just chaos. We can't make any laws different, okay? So we want social change. How do we do it, okay? You have to change. If you want social change, which means changing the minds of people that are racist, okay, is what it means. If you want to change the mind of a racist person, what do you do? You show them, I'm the same. I'm, I'm just the same as you. You're compassionate, even if they want to kill you for it. You're nice and you're upfront and you say, I am this. You think I'm this, but I'm not. But instead, what's happened is people are like, you guys all proclaim that every black person is a murderer. Every black person causes crime. And to prove that it's not... The Black Lives Matter movement is going to go loot up black-owned businesses. Hold on. Wait a second. That can't be right. Oh, wait. It is. Oh, wait. The Black Lives Matter movement caused $3 billion worth of damage. So how do you want How do you want to get social change? You get it by being compassionate, and you get it by, by saying, hey, you racist people out there, you exist. I know they exist. I've met some of them. I know racist people exist. Okay? That's not – that is not a sugar coat. That's not – that's not a – no, that's not a myth. Okay, they exist. How do you change their mind? You do not prove to them that they're right by causing chaos and destruction. You prove them wrong by saying we are compassionate, we are loving, we are smart, we are awesome people, which I have met those people. I have met amazing people of all races, and that's one of the beauties of living in America is that we are a melting pot of cultures. And I think I'm going to end... On that today, I'm going to end by saying this one final thing. I am a Republican because I believe in the Constitution, and I believe in the safety and the well-being of every person in this country. And I believe that the best way to do that is not by enforcing mandates, not by causing destruction, but by looking for common ground in everything that we do. And it's hard, and it's difficult, and it's annoying but that is the future and the foundation of our country is logical debate, logical reasoning, logical common ground. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. Have a great week. And I'll see you next time. Peace.